We back. Pain had it. Shout out real, man. Always shout out real, you know what I'm saying? Once again, welcome back to the Opinion Hated Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we appreciate everybody viewing and subscribing and all that shit. Let's keep this shit going. Yeah, man, we appreciate that love. Yeah, and I go by that nigga name Ace. I'm Joe. And we back. In the building. In the motherfucking building. With another one, man. It's 38. It's special. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all start what y'all doing right now. Go like, subscribe, share some shit, comment some shit. And let's keep it going. Shout out Troy, man. Yeah, bass is loaded in the building as well. You know what I'm saying? And once again, welcome back to the Opinion Headed Podcast. You know what I'm saying? And uh, before we get started, I want to say, you know, rest in peace to Paul Moody. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, Paul bro. Moody, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Fucking legend, man. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And, like, shit, you know, he's, he's a comedian. You know what I'm saying? Comedic legend and shit. You know, them Rofa Dave Chappelle. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Them been on the Dave Chappelle show. Them Rofa yeah. Richard Pry and, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that nigga, you know what I'm saying, most known <laughs> for telling them jokes that... Man, just, man, motherfucker, that nigga be in a room full of people and motherfucker, he'll just have motherfuckers walk out on this shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man, he made motherfuckers uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. You feel me? But it was the truth, though, and it was funny as hell to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of motherfuckers didn't fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I know some people personally, like, they just really can't get down with that nigga comedic style and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. But, you know, like, shit, that's the type of shit I be liking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, once again, rest in peace to Paul Mooney, you know what I'm saying? Peace. You know what I'm saying? But like, shit, let's move forward. Like, shit, nigga, you know, we was just in this motherfucker talking off mic, you know what I'm saying? Just about, you know, like, having space within your relationship type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, how how important it is for, you know what I'm saying, both sides to, shit, not really be up each other's ass all day, man. You feel me? And, and shit, just relax. Let each other breathe for a minute. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, because, like, I'm not not one of them type of dudes that just could be underneath my girl all motherfucking day, you know what I'm saying? Nor do, you know what I'm saying? I don't want her in my face all day and I don't want to be in her face all day. Yeah, on some clingy shit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't want motherfucker always around me, man, or always want to be clingy. Like, I know you got some shit going on, man. Yeah. You feel me? Do do what the fuck you gotta do. Like even if you ain't got nothing going on, cause like, I, I man, just wanna go chill, make bro. it seem like everybody's super busy. That ain't about got, being busy, hella, hella bro. And shit Occupy like your that. own time. You feel me? I want <laughs> my own space. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You know, cause like shit, I be like, damn, you want to be around nigga all motherfucking day. That ain't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we ain't knocking. You know what I'm saying? The love that we get, you feel me? For our women that want to be up under, you know what I'm saying? We just saying shit. we like that space as a man. Shit, sometimes. Yeah, nigga, I think a lot of women be liking that space too. But like I said, like I, I can never just, you know what I'm saying, everywhere I go, my girl with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm with my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like the niggas come over, you know, we chilling, you know what I'm saying? She all in the conversation. I don't like that. Now, now that shit, I don't like that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind being with my lady, you know what I'm saying, on that shit. But on some being around the guys and talking to the guys, like, man, you ain't got really shit to talk about what's going on right now. You feel me? All right. You know I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't like that shit. Yeah, man. Like, you know, I'm the type of nigga that just need my space and shit like that to get away, like shit, you know? I, it's just like how I am, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, it's just like I got to find some time that, you know what I'm saying, have me some time, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, it's just like, you know, it ain't no knock to, you know, none of these people out here who like that, you know what I'm saying? You want to be up under your man all day. You want to be up under your girl all day, but... Like, why, though? Like that yeah, shit. motherfucker gonna get into it after a while, bro. Shit, Like, man. being around a motherfucker somewhere, bro, that shit get irritating. You know what I'm saying? Just for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be around a motherfucker all day. I, I'm gonna just say that, bro. I like to go for a little minute, go for a ride or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or shit, go downstairs or something. You feel me? Watch that the shit, game. Nigga, have you ever dealt with a clingy female before? Yeah, I have, bro. I have before. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker that out there. How you dealt with that? Um, um shit. I don't. <laughs> this nigga like shit. She was just with me. <laughs> 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 yeah, she, yeah, she was with me, bro. But shit, sometimes like, 
Shit, you gotta tell that bitch no. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I ain't like that shit to a, to a, to a, to a certain extent, bro. Because after you, the motherfucker, like, kind of big, and it's not like you telling a child no. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. Like, bro, I got shit going on. You feel me? I can't be with you tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga super busy, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, uh, hey, bro. Like, damn, I got some shit going on, but I can't. Be, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just uh, other shit. You know, shit. Uh, it's just ain't time to be laid up. It's on some money shield or just on some personal shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, like, so yeah. yeah, I dealt with that shit. What about you, my nigga? Yeah, hey, I've been through that shit before, and I don't like that shit. Like, that shit be yeah. cool for a minute, but then that shit get A motherfucker was clingy to you, fuck? Uh, yeah. I thought you would be clingy, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, nah. Well, ain't no clingy nigga, nigga, nigga like shit. Like I said, man, I'm not set up that I just want to be underneath a motherfucker all day. It's just like, you know how you get into a new relationship or something with a motherfucker. Yeah. You know, y'all might kick it, you know what I'm saying? Be that up underneath shit. each other and shit like that. Yeah, that little honeymoon shit, but... It's just like, nah, that shit, that shit get old at the real quick, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? But like just dealing with somebody that's clingy as fuck, they on your ass every minute of the day, every hour, calling yeah. you, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know yeah, what, though, But bro? like, if I'm in a situation like that, like I said, I used to just flat out tell motherfuckers, like, I, I'm tired of your ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be yeah. hard for me to hold shit back. Or but I'm you gotta like, be honest. Shit, yeah, or you call me, like, I'm not gonna pick up the phone, like, yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, well, you super busy, you fucking talking about, nigga. Shit, nigga, you like, I don't give a fuck if I ain't busy, like, shit, I ain't finna lie. Look, I'm trying to do some other shit. Like, I just seen you yesterday, I just got yeah. off the phone with but you. But you know like, what, though, bro, as I got older, man, I just like shit, nigga. I just want to be along with my own thoughts for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? And and chill, man. And, and enjoy my own little space. Yeah. You feel me? So I don't feel like that motherfucker got to be with me all the time, 24 hey, like, seven. Or talk to way. a motherfucker on the phone all day. Like, you know? Yeah. Oh, like, man. see, yeah, like that, that shit used to be cool. Like, I don't be understanding that shit. Once again, we ain't I know more, nobody. bro. We ain't, yeah, bro. But you know I'm just saying, saying we, we, we telling you from our perspective. Hey. We ain't knocking you, but we don't even really give a fuck. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Don't call right. my phone every 30 minutes. Don't call my phone every motherfucking hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, look, I just got out the line with you. I told you I was going to call you back. Let me call you back. And that don't mean yeah. you call me back because I, I was just thinking about you. Why? Like shit, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna <laughs> knock that for cause I I like that shit. If she no, called me talking no, about no, she no, she think about me, well, y'all think we ain't about, talking I about you know that, what I'm saying? Just no regular no, check dude. in shit. We talking about right. them clingy motherfuckers that oh, always wow. do that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Every little that. thing that you do or they do just remind you of them. And it's just like shit. Now you calling me? You know what I'm saying? Like I was just thinking, or oh, what you think about this? And you know, like look, I'll talk to you later. Like I'm busy. Like they ain't got no regard. Or no type of, you know what I'm saying, respect for whatever the fuck it is you saying. Now, I feel like that clinging shit borderline selfishness, you know what I'm saying? It on is. Top of it is. Some needy shit because it's just like you need this type of attention it, for So tell reason. me this, bro. Do you think motherfuckers that be clingy, most people come from abandonment issues? Probably. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, I don't got the psyche on that shit. It Not could, the psyche, bro, but you know what I'm saying? Just your perspective, my nigga. Man, it probably is, you know what I'm saying? Abandonment issues to a degree, but like, you know, people deal with those type of problems in different ways, so that's why it's kind of hard for me to gauge that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people just like naturally being around people, you know what I'm saying, on yeah. a regular basis, or, you yeah. know, like they really got a certain type of feeling towards you that, you know, or they just simply ain't got shit going on at all. Like, mm-hmm. shit, motherfuckers probably ain't got no friends like that. Cause you know, like some of these women. You that's know what, what I mean. For me personally, I feel like all that shit. Clingy motherfuckers always come from a source of a, abandonment. They always got to cling to something because they always got to feel like they got to be needed or they want to feel wanted. You know what I'm saying? If not, then they feel empty. Yeah. That's that's the fact. If I always want to be with you, I always want to be have a purpose. I always want to matter. You know what I'm saying? I always want to be around. Yeah. You know. But like for me, like the clinginess normally come from, like. Uh, you know, people that I'm not interested in. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. shit normally come from women that I'm not interested in. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like, that the crazy shit? Yeah, like, ain't you know what I'm saying? Shit. It ain't never came from no, you know what I'm saying, no girl that I've been dealing with, no woman I done dealt with or nothing like that, not even my lady, but. But you know what? I think that shit bring attraction when they ain't clinging. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that shit, what, bring attraction from I mean, I mean, shit, because you said that, that shit ain't come from no woman that you've been dealing with. It just come from a woman that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? So so the woman that you deal with ain't clingy, right? You feel me? 
So it's something about that shit that we like, bro. That bitches ain't clean. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That shit is it, it attract, bro. I don't want like you said. You don't want a bitch that's clean. I mean, I, yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, like, you shit, feel me? Yeah, like you know, for me, like I said, I, I you know, I'm I need my space. Yeah, like, that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like, set up to be underneath that, you all day, every day. I kick it with you and all that shit. Like we live together. Like shit, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But eventually, I'm going to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, I'm going to get up and go do this. So I want to go hang mm-hmm. out with my niggas. And no, you can't come with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Well, know. That, you know, we can go kick it. You know what I'm saying? At other times. And then it's going to be times where, you know, motherfuckers is going to get up. And it's going to be a social gathering or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I feel like, nigga. kick it with my niggas. What you need to come I was just going to say, bro. Why why a female want to be w- with me and the guys, bro? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you here to talk about? And shit different when you when the nigga got they bitch around. You know what I'm saying? You can't really say what the fuck you want to say, which I really talk about. You know what I'm saying? What motherfuckers talk about. I don't know. It might be you different because, like, shit, you know, me and my niggas, we going to talk the same way. Including yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, that shit going to be ignorant, toned down a little bit. But, shit, yeah. you know, like, yeah. that. but like I said, that's for me and my lady. You know what I'm saying? Or... You know, like, if I was a single nigga and I got a new female, you know what I'm saying, I'm finna pull up on the gas with her, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna, you know, like, especially she looking decent, I wanna yeah, show yeah. her off, that, yeah, check yeah. her I, out, I, you know I what I'm saying, pull up with her, you know what I'm saying, this, you know what I'm saying, this woo-doo. Bring right her through the crib, yeah. bring her through the hood for home, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? That's but what I got, saying. she got a few buddies, too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. shit, yeah, so I ain't with that clinky that shit, man. Like, I feel like, like, nigga, y'all gotta get some space, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like, shit, motherfuckers have spent so much time. Because, you know, it's actually people and couples who live like that. They kick it like that. That's yeah. their thing. You know what I'm saying? They, that's yeah. what they go. Because they be do. best friends, bro. Yeah. They be best friends in a relationship. Yeah. But you know what, though? I think that when people, when people be so, you know what I'm saying, could join to the hip, bro, they, they forget they who they is as a person. They individuality, you know what I'm saying? Say that, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? That who you is as a person, what you like. Yeah. You always used to what y'all like. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all same restaurants, y'all same food, y'all same activity. What, what the fuck make you happy? Yeah, but you like know? you know, like I said, if that's what worked for y'all, then do that. But the only time I feel like that shit is truly and really unhealthy is when everybody ain't on the same page when it comes to that. It's just like if you type a nigga or if you the type of woman, like shit, I need my space, but this nigga. I always want to be up underneath me, but I want to get away, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I fuck when I don't want to hurt that motherfucker feelings or, you know, nothing like that. It's just like, that shit not healthy, you know what I'm saying? You got to say what you got to say. You got to speak what's on your man, you know what I'm saying? And be like, look, not today, motherfucker. Yeah, because like, if not, that shit going to show. You know what I'm saying? That shit going to show how you feel. Shit, that shit Avoid a motherfucker. Out. It's better than avoid a motherfucker. I'd rather motherfucker tell me than avoid me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you said, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers spend so much time with you. You know, it's fine because, like, shit, y'all been in a lifestyle together and y'all supposed to be a team and y'all supposed to be friends. It's just like, you know, I kick it with my lady any day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that ain't what we're saying. You know, I still need that time to myself. But I'd be like, what's what happens, like, when that 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 relationship or that situation is terminated and y'all mm-hmm. no longer together and y'all done spent all this time, especially if y'all put years Hell in, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you then you don't know up. what the fuck to do, bro. Hey, you fuck around, be out here lost. You know what I'm saying? Try to you know figure out sad and shit. Hey, like shit, you be dead. You fuck around and start finding out new shit. I ain't even know I like pizza with yeah. pepperoni. Like I'm so yeah. used to getting sauces with but that's, this. Nigga. That's when you, you find know know new shit. Like, you feel me? Like man. So like I said, it, it you know it's you got pros and cons with that shit, bro. Yeah. But me personally, like I said, we we both agree. That we like our space in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like we like our woman to, you know, not be clean. Yeah. And shit. And it ain't even necessarily gotta be with no relationship, cause like shit, motherfucker. You don't like clean you you don't so you don't like clingy people, period. No, bro. like shit. You know, cause like shit, it could be some of your homies, like niggas. You met some you met some clingy ass homies? Like it's some clingy ass people out here, period. Like shit. <laughs> niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't an exception to the rule. Like shit. <laughs> Niggas will be, you know what I'm saying, hit your land every day. Wanna come? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Like, pop out, pop out, pop out. I'm finna come through. I'm finna slide. I got these hoes. And it's like, bro, god damn. Like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, hey, yeah, well, let's kick it, but not today, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. You know, I got the kids at the crib. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you know, because niggas is older now, but like, what? shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you might still have a homie or something that's still outside. Motherfucker ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Settled down or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker just out here chasing the hoes, you know? 
doing whatever, you know what I'm saying, always outside, but then, you know, like, shit, if you want to like, then everybody around you start settling down and, you know what I'm saying, doing family Why shit be and different? all that, and, you know, like, shit, you ain't really got too much to do, so shit, you just out here trying to clean on, like, with y'all on, finna come to, like, bro, ain't, we ain't doing that Not shit today, G. No more. Like, shit. my life set up different. Yeah, hey, me and my you know girl, we finna, you know what I'm saying, watch this movie and shit, oh, yeah, like, shit, you know, dead motherfuckers like that. You know, and, it, and that might not even necessarily be some clingy shit. It might be more so some lonely shit in that situation because it'd be like females like that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like your ass always in the crib. Where are we? Let me guess, you caked up today. You know what I'm saying? All them type of comments like shit. Like, yeah, how you nigga. feel about that shit when motherfuckers say that shit? You caked up today, nigga. Like, shit, nigga, that's what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. You got to go in the house, nigga. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> like <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, I got to go in the house. Like shit, nigga, you should take your ass out. I just think house. niggas used to be mad over that shit, man. What's that? That shit, you know, niggas say shit like that. Like, because your ass ain't got nowhere to go, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, mm-hmm. motherfuckers, like, motherfuckers be hating a little bit or wishing they ass or something like that. Or And I don't see nothing wrong with that shit, nigga. You, you, you making it making me feel bad about going to my crib yeah. where I for the go. Give me some pussy. I'm for the smoke, eat, lay down in my... Like, nigga, what the yeah. fuck you trying to make me feel bad about going to the crib for? You know most what importantly, saying? what me doing what I'm finna do got to do with you. I'm not stopping oh, you from bro, doing fuck, what you man, doing. your motherfucking <laughs> business, bro. Hey, I'm not stopping you from Fuck you for the dude, like, bro. Shit, you know, yeah. you can still go do whatever you was talking about doing just without me. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Yeah, and especially if I'm for the live, I said, I've been here for a minute anyway. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no quick shit, bro. Shit, you know? Yeah. It be one for all day. Shit. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, shit, you know, like, I, why this shit on my head? Like, I think I forgot. <laughs> 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 he, he made y'all say, like, they hit motherfucker. Really hear something to say? Why this shit on my head, you know? No, like shit, because I was thinking about that last episode earlier. Right. We was just talking about working with friends and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I, I know I kept on episode. saying, like, shit, you got to pay attention to motherfuckers' character and shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, I like, and I just wanted to reiterate that shit because I was thinking about that. I was like, shit, because... You know, when you paying attention to motherfuckers' characteristics, even though you say, like, shit, you know motherfuckers will change, or, you know, you never thought a nigga a backdoor you type shit, or, you know, money get involved, that shit changed. But, like I said, you know, when I was talking about paying attention to them red flags and mm-hmm. shit like that, it, it's just like, if you see a motherfucker do some dirty shit, you know what I'm saying, to a motherfucker, like, you know what I'm saying, you already know them tendencies, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. just to finish... That thought, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't know if I lost some people with that or not, you know what I'm saying? But I, I just wanted to reiterate that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I, I just, like, for real, like, shit, especially, like, when you conducting shit with people, like, you should already know what people is capable of doing mm-hmm. and what they not capable of doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know, it, it's just as simple as that, you know? So I, I just wanted to retouch on that. Motherfuckers character, man. Yeah. Hey, Troy, bro, can I get some napkins, um, G? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, so, you know, yeah, like, that. that's pretty much it about that. Yeah, like, shit, you know, some other shit we was talking about. Like, shit, we was sitting up in this bitch. Gratitude, bro. Tripping about, you know what I'm saying, these hoes and shit. Like, motherfuckers on, talking. Bro. What, you spilled some shit? Yeah, yeah, that was my drink, bro. I spilled it, bro. <laughs> this nigga spilled his drink, like. But shit, yeah, like, just reiterate about these hoes when, when it comes to, like, why, you know what I'm saying, like. You know, just being out here and being a single nigga and, and type of the type of ills you you know what I'm saying you that come with the game and shit like that. You know what I'm saying and like shit, I, I didn't feel like shit, nigga, because like I, it's been a minute since I've been single. But like I said, shit, I'm glad I ain't out here. I didn't say that shit one too many times on here probably, but. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you get out Told here truth, and you dealing with motherfuckers and, and then truth. they come to the crib and, you know, you go on dates and all that shit. Like, you kind of realize, like, how much power you got being in a man's position in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, I hate them type of Tell them people what you mean by that. I, you know how much saying? power you got. Like, you know, I hate them, you know what I'm saying, type of situations where, you know, like, you be on the phone with a shorty, you just met her or something. Y'all been talking all week. Y'all done established the date that y'all gonna get up and, you know what I'm saying, go on or what day y'all finna, she finna come through and kick it or, you know, whatever the case is. And it, it's just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, she probably been on the phone talking good. You know what I'm saying? Talking freaky as hell. Hell and, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this and woo de woo man. You know, all that shit. And then motherfucker comes to the crib. Now you playing coy. Now you shy. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. And now you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I do not like that shit. Me you know either, G. Like, me either, bro. Cause shit, like, I ain't no, I ain't no aggressive ass nigga. So shit, I, I, shit, I, I'm trying to see what you on. You done talk that shit. I'm trying to see what's up. Once you trying to turn nigga down, I'm, I'm shit. I'm, I'm chilling after that. Shit, yeah. I'm, ch- I'm chilling because I ain't trying to be on no, I ain't on no creep shit. And I ain't here to play no games either, though. You feel me? Yeah. And, you know, especially, like, if you when, if you tell me no, like, that's what we going to stick with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to keep on trying to play. I ain't going to keep on trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the situation. But you say no, like, shit, that's, that's just what it is. You say, I mean, like. mean that shit. Yeah, no. nigga. Yeah, especially now. Nah, yeah, what yeah, shit nigga, going man. on? Like, you talking about especially that, nigga. It should be like that always. Uh, uh, like, shit, because like I said, you know some shit. Motherfucker shorty come through, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, if you a motherfucker that come through, talk all that freaky shit, then you on that. I'm finna spend a night shit or like let's oh, just lay man, here, bro. you know what I'm saying? I thought we was just gonna lay here. Bro, it. man, I, I told you, man, I, I, I dealt with some shit like that, but like I said, I ain't been thinking in a while, folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, run across the shit, motherfucker come to the crib, spend a night and shit, OG crib, was on spend a night, you know? Like, man, bro, bet you ain't trying to fuck, bro. Hey, man, man, that's why I'm like shit. In them type of situations, that's when you realize how much power you got because you can't be no creepy, aggressive nigga and then you know, be out here and you just like, fuck it, I'm gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that Why shit. You but trying to, you talking about take it, man. Yeah, my like fucking shit. be on some bullshit, bro. You know, but shit, and at the same time, it's just like, man, you be mad than a motherfucker in them situations. Like, what? You just, yeah. what? I thought you said, man, come on, man. man. All right, come this on, bitch son. ain't never coming back over here, boy. Yeah, um, bro. Motherfucker, like, shit, it did. Like, I don't give a fuck what type of nigga you is. Ain't shit. If you a nigga, a guy, dude, whatever you want to call yourself, man, whatever. Like, you not going to sleep, shorty, come over there not trying to give up no Hell ass. no, and she better not go to sleep before you, bro. Yeah, yeah, um, you going to be up all night, shit, yeah. trying to get that But the that crazy thing, bro, if y'all just laying in the bitch's land, that you, you you feel like this bitch want me to fuck her, though. You know what I'm saying? Because she real on niggas. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch sitting out mixed signals. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, motherfuckers be playing. So motherfuckers most definitely ain't going to sleep. Especially, like I said, shorty been letting you fill on her all night. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, know, you, know, you got talk to. to her like, come on, man. What's bro, that? if she been talking that shit and she come over here, bro, this bitch ain't finna go to sleep in her pants. <laughs> Fuck is Rubbing her booty up against you. Hey, I thought you said earlier that was funny as hell. About, ain't no bitch finna sit on my uh my bed with her outside panties on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> hey, hell no. hey, funny as hell for that, bro. Uh, hell yeah, shit, boy. I should have tried that shit. Be like, yeah, I, hey, I know you new over here, but like, yeah, I don't let nobody sit with their outside panties <laughs> on. <my bed." laughs> you know. <laughs> you know? Like, hey, you gonna no, have to take man. them off. I got some basketball shorts for you. You want uh, them or you just free ball it? You know what I'm saying? Like, free, <laughs> uh, I got some basketball shorts. Hey, take but them. like I said, shit, I'm not going to sleep. I ain't never had no female come through. You know what I'm saying? Now on soon, you she just want to chill. You know what I'm saying? And I went to sleep. Like shit, nigga, motherfuckers be up to five in the morning still trying to get some ass. Hey, you hear the sun, bro? You, know, you feel me? You just see the sun coming man. up, man. Yeah. Birds, you hit a bird trap, bro. You know it's yeah, been one. Birds I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like ass. I told you, when I heard them birds trap, I was like, yeah, it's been one. Yeah, it been one. Shit, it's been one. Up, them birds. Out I ain't gonna there. lie. That's when I. That's when I go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> that get two hours. Uh, I get up. Shit, it's about seven thirty. Nah, I ain't uh, that bitch gone, bro. That bitch just yeah, I make it to the sunlight come up. Shit, it, it's just like yeah, come on, let's go. Like, yeah, you dropping the off up? Yeah, it's time to go. Like now, nah, yeah. what we gonna do? Go get breakfast. No, they've been taking up breakfast, huh? The table, well, and then the bitch got another day. What you finna do? What bitch? What you mean? What I'm finna, I'm finna go give me some pussy is what I'm finna do. Man, for real. Nice right, shit, but you know, I could be ignorant in situations like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, come on, shit, man. Damn, man, look. Shit, there ain't yeah. no need to be hidden because I ain't gonna talk to this bitch when she leave. Yeah, shit, that shit pretty much a rap. It did. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, shit, nigga, I hate them type of females be like, shit, you know, you could have got some pussy if you would have, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, if I, if I like, did what, shit, though? Shit, we ain't got to play all that shit. You know, I'm a straight to the point. But you know, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 me too, bro. Like, when it comes to bitches, though, you feel me? But, like, we talked up here before, like, how niggas be, I don't, I don't know who the fuck we had up here, Gigi, I think. How motherfuckers be saying, like, they be missed signals or some shit. I don't know who the fuck we had up here. One of our guests, man, one of our female guests. 
You know what I'm saying about Mickey's be just missing signals, G. When they be trying to give it to him. Yeah, they're just missing. missing. Uh huh. Missing signals, G. When they be trying to, bitch, be trying to give him that pussy, they just be missing. No, no, no. Ain't no missing uh, signals, you know what I'm saying? When you out here, like you you grabbing on it, you know what I'm saying? You touching them, she let you do it, but she's like, nah, I thought, you know, like, yeah, but no, you know what I'm saying? Like, now you got, you scared, or, you know, whatever the case is, and it's just like, come on now. Like, I thought you, this is what we was finna do, you know what I'm saying? Like, so why you playing? Like, I don't be understanding that shit. It, it's just like, what you come over here for? I don't know. You know, and then that's the shit that be crazy because, like, shit, especially, like, if you got real conversation with us or something and you get to the point where it's just like, look, man, I ain't fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you playing. And then motherfuckers are like, what's up, what, I can't kick it with you unless I'm, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't about that you can't kick it with me unless you, you know what I'm saying, coming out that ass or something. It's, it's about motherfuckers led you on yeah, and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, you out here playing, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And it's just like, shit, I ain't trying to play these type of games with you, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. It's just like, it's like I said, it's a lot of motherfuckers who would play them games. A lot of women who would be out here just playing, yeah, you boy. know what I'm saying? Like, shit, come through, act like they want to give you something, but really they just want what they want out the situation and keep what it moving. What the fuck they want? So what, smoke your weed? What, yeah. some food? Smoke your weed, you know what I'm saying? They might need a place to stay for the night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just want to drink. Between house. between house. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, they, you know, you might be they food, nigga, so, you know, they call you in. Hell no, nah, your food, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> might be the food, nigga, so they call you, tell yeah, what's up? Come through, you know what I'm saying? Like, and bring me something to eat. And then you come through, kick it with it. She done ate that shit. Y'all done watch a, a Netflix TV show? Not even a movie. Like, shit, motherfucker, y'all watch the TV show. She like, okay, I'm tired. I got to, like, damn. Like, I, damn, you, I got to get up for work tomorrow. And I feel sorry for you niggas who fall for this shit every time. All right, I'm figuring out. <laughs> motherfucker. You don't even hug it. Like, it's to the point, like, shit, you you just got your natural time and then your body. Okay, like, I think I think she finna tell me to leave, so let me go ahead and leave before she tell me I this I don't even know why you over there. <laughs> you just over there being a goofy. Like, but, you know, like I said, man, you know, so it, it's just one of them type of deals. Like, ladies, I don't know if y'all ever been through no shit like that. Dealing with niggas and you know saying things of that nature, but if y'all have, oh, no, I mean, what, you know what I'm saying, leave a comment. Shit. You know what I'm so, saying. So, so you telling me it's niggas out here that saying like, yeah, you gonna have to leave when they a bitch trying to fuck, but they don't want to fuck. I mean, shit, probably so. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like that shit. bitch got a stink or something. Uh, shit, I don't know, man, because, like, shit, I, I look at, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we talking about clingy motherfuckers today, and when we was talking about clingy motherfuckers earlier, the first thing that came to my mind was motherfucking Nikki Parker and Professor Oglesby. That was just you know obsession, bro. You know what I'm saying? She was obsessed. Yeah, but, like, see, like, that nigga, that nigga, like. You would, you would have hit Monique, though. Uh, shit, like you talking about Monique the comedian Yeah, or I'm Monique talking about Parker? on the park, because nigga on the park. Uh, I wouldn't have hit her, like, shit. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have hit her. The bitch running around here calling you Professor Oglesby, you gonna yeah, be like, hitting her? No, nah, because. <laughs> <laughs> Like right, shit, nigga, I, I put it like this. I probably would have did it, you know what I'm saying, in, in certain situations. Cause I feel like yeah. it's a certain situation for, you know what I'm saying, different people. You know what I'm saying? Like, just off GP, nah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, as far as, like, that situation, why we own it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shorty was chasing that nigga around. Like, and I used to yeah, watch that shit a little bit. Too. And it seemed like, shit, the only time that nigga really wanted to fuck with us is when she had another nigga. And he'll just come Damn. and fuck her head up. You know what I'm saying? Come fuck I her head up. You know what I'm saying? It did shit, motherfucker. When she ain't fuck with that nigga no more, then he don't want to fuck with her no more. And he's like, he always was an opportunist with that bitch because, like, she always used to help the nigga out and all types of shit. But that nigga be out here chasing these other bitches and shit, and all they trying to do is use that nigga for some bread. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga really ain't had no money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Jerryson got some shit. Folks have been talking about the pogs. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just something I thought about it. it, it shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck that man. He be chasing the nigga. If they didn't think about a move, guys, I'm ripping this nigga talking about the pod. <laughs> motherfucker, yeah, man. Like shit, that shit be crazy, but like shit, yeah, motherfucker. Like them, them type of bitches I'm talking about, them motherfucking Monique Parker ass bitches, like I'm mm-hmm. cool on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you know, and like, I don't want no female coming through playing no games with me. Like, shit, I, I don't understand that shit. Like I said, then motherfucker called you out. You could have got some pussy. It's like, bitch, you was telling me no. Like, you know what I'm saying? You was playing. Like, playing why you ain't just put night. that shit on the table? We ain't even got to play like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, 
Hey, like, shit, just keep that shit real. But like I said, man, like if any of you women out there got a comment or something, you know what I'm saying, or a story or something, like just, just put that shit in the comment, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I think we gonna move around because like this shit, we gonna kind of wrap this up. We recording a little late this week. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Yeah, hey, man, that shit. I was talking about a story. What about the... Um that man at the eighty two year old man in Australia that got his the wrong leg amputated due to a human error in the hospital. He went into the hospital folks to get his left leg amputated above his knee. And uh so I don't know how the fuck you get your shit above your knee amputated. That means your whole leg gotta be amputated. But they amputated the wrong leg, which was his right leg. So they both they had to cut out both legs when he left the hospital, bro. Damn. Hey, right, that shit be fucked up. Like, shit, I know you was mentioning that shit earlier, too, before we got on mic, man. Like, that shit crazy because I'm suing the fuck out that house. That's some malpractice like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You make a mistake like that, that I'd be like, shit, that, you know, that'd probably be one of the scariest things when it come to get some surgery. Like, a motherfucker make a mistake like that. Hell like, yeah, like, boy. Like, you know, like we always say, that, and them, them one of them jobs where you can't afford to make a mistake. You know Hell what I'm saying? no, bro. Can't afford to make Not no, no human error, bro. Yeah. You feel you me? You can't be doing that like shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I was saying like shit, what if motherfucker you go in for some for some leg surgery like that, but then the doctor cut your dick off or something, remove your testicles or something, man. man. Like, that shit OC, but like nigga, like I said, if I was having a situation like that, it's, that a, it's a rap for me. Fuck fuck like, suing, I'll kill that doctor. Shit, I ain't even gonna worry about suing. You cut my balls, my dick off or something, like shit, it's a rap. Like shit, I don't even wanna be here no more. Yeah. What the fuck I'm gonna do now? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, shit. you know? Like, and that shit crazy. Like, shit, you know? Like, man, but like, yeah, that that, that shit is careless right there. You know what I'm saying? Then I was hearing shit. about Buddy Ass, who was uh out there in El Salvador. You know what I'm saying? He's a former police officer out there, you know what I'm saying? And he got put off the force in 2005, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, he admitted to uh, being, what, a, a sex predator and shit? Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so shit, they they went to that nigga career because he was uh, allegedly suspected of being, of killing a mother and a daughter. You know what I'm saying? So like shit, when they got to his career, they, they pretty much discovered, like, his backyard was kind of like a cemetery. Like, they found eight pits of a dozen bodies in them. You know what I'm saying? And then they uh, suspecting of him, like, be having, like, 40 more motherfuckers over there. And there's a lot of people out there who feeling like some of their missing family members and shit, you know what I'm saying, might be in there. So, you know, like, that Damn, shit crazy. Bro, that's fucked up, bro. Like, that shit crazy as hell, like, shit. Man, motherfuckers man. fucked up in this world, man. Yeah. But like shit, the reason that he even got put out the force in 2005 is because, uh, you know, like they was out here saying that he was meeting women online and promising them the American dream. So I guess when they came to the crib, you know what I'm saying, he did whatever he did with them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, that that shit be crazy. We a lot of weird, sick ass motherfuckers out here. Yeah, like shit, and then, like, <laughs> you heard about that nigga in Brazil, you know what I'm saying, that nigga, he a 23-year-old uh, artist, I think he either an MC or he a singer, one of them. What the that other. nigga do? Like, shit, this nigga, uh, like, this nigga was out with his homie, you know what I'm saying, cheating on his wife, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, like, his wife or one of her friends or something came knocking on the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had just got married, like, a few weeks prior to that, you know what I'm saying, and the woman he married, like, she a little bit older, and I think she like a reporter or something out there. But long story short, like, shit, they came to the door knocking on the door, so he ain't want to get caught. So this nigga got on the balcony, hung over the ledge, and he was trying to drop himself down to the fifth floor so he can land on the balcony he was in just so he won't get caught. And his wife found out about, you know, him that's cheating too, and shit that's like too that. Much, folks. So, you know, he pretty much ended up down because of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Damn. Yeah. Oh, I'll try to fuck yeah, that shit. Yeah, that's man. That shit, was, that shit was unnecessary, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His wife was a criminal lawyer. She was 33. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that shit dumb as hell. Like, bro, like, shit, you in the hotel. You out here, I guess, you and your homie finna run a train on them. You know what I'm saying? And it did, like, shit, nigga. I feel like, shit, nigga, if you that scared, you don't need to be out here doing shit. No, especially bro. no goofy shit like that. I no. think I have to just take the air. Like, I'm not hanging no, over no Jim. balconies. I'm not jumping off no balconies. Man. That, shit, that shit ain't that serious, man. Like, man, you might as well just take that L and get caught, bro. <laughs> hey, shit, nigga. Like, nigga, you ever been in a situation and you try to get up out that gym and keep yourself and get caught up cheating? 
No, I ain't never been in no gym like that. I ain't never been in no gym where I got I almost got caught up cheap. Why you saying shit like that? <laughs> Fucking Vlad TV in this bitch. Look at Vlad in this bitch. See. The fuck is going on here? Put that bottle down, man. Hell no, nah. like shit, nigga. I'm glad I ain't never been in those situations like that, but I've been in situations where I done had a couple hoes fighting this shit. You know what I'm saying? On the job type shit. Then that shit be mm-hmm. funny because I be like, I don't even fuck with neither one of you bitches and y'all in here yeah. fighting. Like, but that shit be, that shit was interesting. I was a shorty too. Like, that shit was a little interesting. These bitches at work getting it cracking and all they did was bring more attention back to me because now nah, shit, female, you go to work the next day, motherfuckers yeah. like, Shit, I, let me not talk to you. I don't want to get my ass. Yeah, I don't want to get my. You know so that's how you know bitches start liking you though. When they start hey, saying motherfuckers shit, motherfuckers be loving dramatics yeah, and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, funny man. Yeah, yeah. I hear some shit like that going on on some shorty shit. Bitches fight on me and shit. I ain't All like right. that shit, bro. Now, now this nigga got a situation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, folks? This nigga just called me Vlad. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. Hey, this nigga said, "Hey, hey you ever been in a position you ever got caught up cheap?" I never been in a position like that. Nigga, I'm telling you the truth. And that sounds like you lying, because now you got a situation. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm saying this is on some other shit, bro. Uh, hey, I don't like hey, this nigga, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, man. That was some shorty shit, man. They, they motherfucker beat our ass, though. They jumped on him. Damn, motherfucker got jumped on. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, like shit. And shout out that nigga Nick Cannon. This nigga expecting his baby number seven. Wildin' out. Folks <laughs> wildin'. Folks wildin'. Yeah, nigga, that was wildin' out, girl. Yeah, shit. I shit. knew you. Hey, nigga, I knew you was fucking a wildin' out, girl, G. Yeah, like shit. I don't blame him. I ain't mad. I but say, like why, why, why not be fucking? Well, I think that's probably in the contract. And this shit crazy. And why we talk about Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, and shit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna like, like shit, nigga. I don't know, but y'all y'all heard Soldier Boy and motherfucking got them little Bow Wow got a versus coming out. Don't announce that shit on this channel. <laughs> Don't announce that shit on this channel, man. Shit, y'all get ready. You know what I'm saying? But no. Nah, ready for what? What they finna wear? Big ass glasses? Nah, like, I ain't finna watch that shit. But uh, like shit, the only reason I bring that up is cause it tie in with Dick Cannon. Like, you I know thought Bow Wow and Romeo was gonna have a first battle. I wouldn't want to see that shit. Bow Wow and Soldier Boy be better. You know what I'm saying? Battle Romeo. that shit. I don't want to see so, none of that. Yeah, I don't want to see. None I don't of know that. who Soulja Boy could battle, but like shit, Bow Wow. Like shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Romeo wouldn't been a good one because like what, Romeo what, and Bow Wow. What song do Bow Wow got though? Like, shit, I like, like like you out of myself. Like I said, like, we ain't shit. gotta go. To, like like Bow Wow got some classes. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I get that. You I know, now that. I ain't saying they classes for me, but I know he been around for a minute. Sound like. You listen you know to black sound like, like you like Bow Wow. No, nah, nigga, that, that's a little too young, too too immature for me, man. I don't know. So what type <laughs> of shit you listen to? Troy over here shaking his head. He, he's like Bow Wow. I, I do it, Troy. No, nah, I do it for Troy. Nigga, this nigga, this nigga Joe, like shit. Nah, nah, don't put shit on Joe. This nigga Joe don't got a baby picture where he what? had a little Mickey Mouse chain like Bow Wow. <laughs> no, nah, man. What type of shit you was listening to when you was growing up then, nigga? This shit, like, it, like shit, nigga, like, nigga, hey, that's funny you asked me that shit, because, like, you know, uh, motherfucker, before I even started fucking with me, I used to watch a lot of comedy and shit, you know what right. I'm saying? I think that shit influenced me way before motherfucking music and shit. Yeah. That's, you know, one of the reasons why I had to, you know, shout out Paul Mooney, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, shit, I, I used to fuck with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like all the older comedians and shit like that. And I feel like Jamie Foxx, he a sleeper. So what you wanted to be though, bro? You wanted to be a single or a comedian? Shit, nigga, I ain't never want to be no comedian. I ain't funny like that. You know what I'm saying? But shit, this nigga trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? But, heck, like bro. shit, nigga, I would have been a singer. Like shit, nigga, you yeah, sing in the ever. choir and shit. You, you know sing in the choir? <laughs> you sing in the like choir? Like sixth grade type shit. Then what? nigga, a voice what? change. Like, yeah, hey, shit, I used to be bad. You used to be cold. Oh, this is my first shit. time ever. Yeah. Hey, you said you used to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, this nigga used to be Sam Cook. <laughs> yeah, I did, bro. <laughs> nah, but like I said, you know, I brought that Bow Wow and Soldier Boy shit up because, like I said, you know, them three niggas, well, more more so Bow Wow, Nick Cannon, than Soldier, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, them niggas who been known to be corny, you know what I'm saying, pretty much they Will whole Smith motherfucking too. career. Like, people call them niggas corny. Mm. 
And like the thing about it, well, is, Soldier Boy wasn't really corny, bro. No, that's why I said more so Nick Cannon than yeah. you know, and Bow Wow than yeah. Soldier. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, why though? You know what I'm saying? Why niggas used to call I, I don't know, because I think that's the shit they style, bro. You know what I'm like saying? Like Bow Wow. Uh, matter of fact, maybe it was the time that they was, you know no, what I'm saying? Doing what no, they no, was think doing. about though. Bow Wow was a shorty, bro. He was kind of hot, though. Like Mike and shit like that. His music, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like shit, he used to be with Snoop Dogg and shit and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah shit like that. You feel me? Like, yeah. you know, little movies, little advertisement and shit. So he was up, you know? Shit, it just. It just got older and was still Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> That's the problem. It's always I was staying Lil Bow Wow. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But like, see, but yeah, like Bow Wow, I can understand because like that nigga was trying to put on persona that motherfuckers knew he wasn't. But like, then exactly. you got niggas like Nick Cannon. Like that nigga ain't never tried to be nobody he wasn't. At least not to my no. memory. You know what I, I'm saying? I always fuck with Nick Cannon though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I ain't like fuck I said, with the music type shit, but yeah. I, I I fuck with Nick Cannon. There's some some like. Shit, just what he did for himself and who he is, though. I respect Nick Cannon as a, uh, as a person, though. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, shit, you know, that's why I was like, maybe it was, you know what I'm saying, in the time where that nigga was trying to do music and things of that nature, you know, it's like everybody was had to be gangster, 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 killer, yeah, killer, yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I, I said, bro, I brought up Will Smith. You remember when Will, Will, Will Smith was popping when he was younger? Yeah. You that old folk? Hey, shit, like, I wasn't really listening to him, but yeah, nigga, shit, nigga, summertime, nigga, shit. I, I was old enough to when hear that, that shit when it first came on the radio. I don't remember no years. Shit, I was like, like, I was that. born '92, shit, nigga. So hell, yeah, but like, shit, you know, and then it's just like I said. I think it's just a period of like niggas was coming out doing the shit they was doing that might have mm-hmm. left them corny, like shit. When you got a bunch of uh, assortment of rappers. And all they ass talk about street shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drug mm-hmm. dealing, gang banging, and then like you the only motherfucker that's not talking that shit. So maybe you would look a little corny, especially if you got a clean and cut image and shit like that. But mm-hmm. the one thing that these niggas was doing, why? And, and then like the thing about it is, it, it's just like it be regular motherfuckers who be labeling these people corny and shit like that. You might have some other people in the industry that might have said, oh yeah, that nigga corny or whatever the case is, but it mainly be just regular ass people. Hell yeah. That don't do shit or ain't got shit going on in life and then they want to label a motherfucker, oh, you a corny ass nigga. But like shit, nigga, look at, hey, like I said, much respect and you know all that shit towards that nigga Cannon because look at him now. That nigga hosting shows, like that nigga got his own shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga yeah, get wildin' out back. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, that nigga done married and divorced Mariah Carey, done put babies in her, you know what I'm saying? There's still niggas out here who probably Mariah still want to get Mariah Carey, you know? Like shit, mm-hmm. that nigga out Whatever, here. Whatever, it's J-Lo for me. Yeah. You said J-Lo? Yeah. You fucking with J-Lo? J-Lo I'm still J-Lo. look decent. J-Lo I'm still look decent. Even though she got a lot of rings like Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> like them bitches like Infinity Stones. Mm, shit. Like, my first shit, she just collect engagement rings. That's what I'm saying, like Affinity yeah. Stone. She got the money ring from A-Rod. Yeah. Mm. Man, that shit crazy. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah, them yeah. niggas, man. Yeah, hey, like, but, but we, before we got lost in that shit, though, shout out that nigga. You talking about motherfuckers that be corny. Shout out that nigga J. Cole with that off-season album. That bitch, that shit nice. And niggas be sleep on Cole because he don't be talking all that other shit with motherfuckers be... Shit, who yeah, sleep man. on Cole? Though? Hey, bro, there's be a lot of niggas that don't fuck with Cole, bro. Oh, like, there'll be a lot of niggas that don't fuck with Kendrick. You, you'll be surprised. Like, I was surprised when I saw a lot of motherfuckers didn't fuck with Nip. I, th- I thought everybody fuck with Nip. You, you know, know what I'm saying? That surprised uh, me. Everybody didn't, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's what I'm like, saying. That shit was surprising. Yeah. But, like, shit, you know, like I said, because I'm not a nigga that fuck with Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't shit, fuck with Cole? Like, I, I fuck with him, and I, you know what I'm saying? I respect the music that he make. He's a good rapper, good lyricist, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just a point that, you know, a lot of his singles and some of his music, like, really one for mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like ignorant shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see like, what I'm saying? like I temple shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, if I'm in a car rad, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, it's certain things that I listen to that got lower tempo and, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. But, like, when it comes to, like, cold shit, like, I listen to his shit. But they ain't my go-to, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like, shit, they ain't my go-to, man. Like, I, I, you know, I listen to Kendrick, you know what I'm saying, before I listen to Cole. I listen to saying? Cole before Kendrick. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, you saying you thought everybody knew Nip. It's just like, I, nah. I, I not knew. I mean, I thought everybody fuck with Nip. No, nah, like, because shit, it, it's motherfuckers that don't even like the way he rap. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what my You know what I'm saying? Said. Yeah, but, like, shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just about the shit he be talking about. And, like, a lot of motherfuckers ain't really know who he was or, mm-hmm. 
you know, start finding out about, you know, what he was about and things of that nature after he got murdered. He was but, my favorite, one of my favorite rappers before yeah, he got killed, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, he always taught that shit, and I fuck with it, but see, like, that, that's why I look at it like shit, you know, like, I felt like that Marathon album, that shit was finna take him to the, you know what I'm saying, next level, like, cause I could've seen, you know, after he dropped that shit, then, you know what I'm saying, like, you would've started hearing him on more people's shit, you know what I'm saying? I could see, he, he would've been one of them guys that got a Jay-Z verse. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like shit, I could he can see. You get a verse from anybody. Yeah, I could see him, you know what I'm saying, doing some shit, you know what I'm saying, with some other of these big Like artists. Baby and, so, and shit, yeah, Lil yeah. Baby and shit. You know like what I'm saying? That. Maybe even a Drake yeah. feature or something. Matter of fact, shit, yeah, Drake on some shit. So never mind, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like shit, you know what it is, what it is. Like shit. RP Nip, man. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was something else. Like, shit, we got lost in that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter. We gonna keep it. Yeah, they were talking about some corny shit, nigga. Motherfucker getting corny. Yeah, but like I said, man, all, like like I said, man, that, that's why I always be talking shit about the internet, especially now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, it, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here. And then, like I said, well, as far as, like, Nick Cannon and Bow Wow, and especially Nick Cannon, it's just, like, it's just a bunch of artists out here who was rapping. And there probably was a lot of niggas that was coming up trying to rap and talking about shit they ain't necessarily mm-hmm. been through or what they live like and none of that shit. And it's just like niggas like Wiz Khalifa, you know what I'm saying? I feel oh, like man, I fuck them Wiz, niggas, man. like, you know what I'm saying? Them the type of niggas, you know what I'm saying, made it cool for motherfuckers just being they self. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, you know, that nigga just get on this motherfucker talk about smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it with some females, getting some up. money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's just like shit. Yeah. You know, it's just I'm like shit in the cup. been a whole bunch, been a wave of motherfuckers after that that start being more so they sales and instead of trying to be something that they ain't type shit. You know what I'm saying? So like as far as like motherfuckers out here who always got an opinion or got something to say, it's just like what you doing with your life? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like shit. And I damn near waiting till we start getting that type of you know hate in the comments and. People talking this and talking that just because, like, first thing I'm going to say is, well, what you doing, nigga? You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing shit. None, bitch. Your bitch ass. <laughs> like, All right. The fuck, fuck you talking about? Yeah, yeah. But, like, shit, nigga, I saw this shit, and this shit was funny, man. What was that? Like, I had said the test message was supposed to be between this nigga and this Uber East driver. And it was like, hey, G, this your Uber East driver, Dre. I ain't go cap. This lad long as shit. On my mama, just go ahead and cancel this junk, and you can fix you some smoke sizes or some <laughs> shit. My fault. And then, <laughs> then the nigga replied, "What the fuck? I don't want no damn smoke sizes." <laughs> Hell no, man. Uber you know driver said, "Man, fuck that shit, bro." Y'all. I thought that shit was funny as hell. Like, I'd be mad as hell. My Uber East nigga tell me, "Just yeah, go yeah. make you smoke sizes, nigga." I ain't trying to sit in there. Nigga, get that food, man. Hey, your bitch ass, bro. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 he ain't good. picking your food up after that. For who's ass leave? He, he let you know he finna go to the crib. Uh, yeah, yeah, like shit. Before we get up out of here, shit, we go uh, talk about a little bit. You know, the motherfucking playoffs that started and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like shit, Kwame Brown, that nigga been getting that. Oh air man, body. he been yeah, going at everybody, bro. <laughs> you called Skip Betty's a pale faced bitch earlier, man. <laughs> Did it? Like, yeah, I man. didn't see that shit. Like, Call me going in on everybody, boy. Ain't nobody safe. Man, like that nigga been talking shit all way all motherfucking week. Like that nigga called Matt Barnes, Becky with the good hair. Yep. Steven you know Jackson, that? fake ass activist. <laughs> yeah. But like shit, you know, like out of all the shit, I guess, you know what I'm saying, that nigga done got to the point that he tired of niggas talking shit about him. Talking about he a He been bust. quiet for so long, though, bro. Yeah, and it's funny because I like I ain't never heard that he nigga either, talk. He not even an interview. He ain't been played that good to get an interview, so shit, we wouldn't know how he speak. <laughs> <laughs> like, that nigga finna be talking shit about your ass <laughs> on Monday. Hey, <laughs> Joe, you a bitch. Hey, call me, man. Bring, like bring your, like Matt Bond said, bring your front seat to your cop, your hookah. You feel me? Come get comfortable. Shit. Yeah, yeah, but. But like, not to get lost with Kwame Brown, goof ass, man, but, um. Uh, yeah, but about like the I playoffs. Said, yeah, Who you got, nah, G? I wanted to say something about Ooh. Kwame because, like I said, the one thing that he was right about What's that? is the fact that, you know what I'm saying, what he said. Like, niggas been out here calling that man a bust and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. And I'm finna paraphrase what he said, but he was like, man, like, shit, nigga, I bought my mama a house when I was 18 years on old the on the golf, golf course. course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That he said he graduated high school with high honors and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, he got a full academic scholarship 
you know what I'm saying, to the university he went to. Did you see and, that shit, though, bro? You know what I'm saying? And he just pretty much like motherfuckers is talking shit about black men and down the niggas and want to make it seem like, you know, I'm a bust. But, like, if I'm a loser, then I feel like it should be more mo- losers like me, mm-hmm. basically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and something else he said, though, that was real critical. He said, man, Michael Jordan them used to... Bring older motherfuckers to the to the practice to beat them up, bro. Yeah, because he day, said bro. Michael Jordan ain't never won with him. Like, shit. Every like, day, bro. He wanted Elton Brand. He yeah. wanted to draft him to get Elton Brand, but the yeah. owners of the Wizards blocked that shit at the time. Yeah, bro. So they treated him like shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Beat him up and shit. Beat him yeah. down mentally. He had Charles Oakley and there fucking with him and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he like. Charles, fuck with Charles Oakley, so, fuck with everybody. Yeah, so he like, yeah, you can't say I ain't tough or none of that shit because another motherfucker like that in my position. With a, you know, folded, you know what I'm saying, type shit. Because he like, I was a 17-year-old kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, that shit was crazy. That's why it's crazy, bro, because we never heard Kwame say anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, you don't know. Like like I was asking, though, bro, like, past Kwame, though, who you got for the um, winning title? Uh, shit, I ain't really, uh, um, I really ain't got no pick for that. You know what I'm saying? Up? Like, nah, I ain't got no pick at the moment because, like, shit, I ain't. Been too much focus Kauai, on the man. NBA like that. Nah, man, because like I said, it, it just seemed like the Clippers is goofy. They lost earlier, man, like, against you know Dallas, man. They lost earlier, but like, see. Like, Look at Kwame, fuck. Like, shit, nigga, like, motherfucker. I, I was watching, I seen that little highlight earlier, that nigga dunked on uh buddy ass, and it's just like all them niggas mugging and shit, and then y'all like lost. Shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, like, these niggas lost last year. You know what I'm yeah. saying? What, against Denver? Yep, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, shit. Three, one. You know, and I fuck with Kawhi and all but that. But you know but. what, though? Man, this year I got, um, you know, I ain't even going to say, I, I watched Brooklyn, they looked good. But I like Philly, man. I like, I yeah. like Philly. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like I said, yeah, I'm fucking with Philly because, like I said, the Lakers don't look as strong to me. They good, but, you know they, what I'm saying? It's they just too like, far. It's just like, man, motherfucker, the East, they got a few teams that's like, mm-hmm. they've been playing together for a minute. The Lakers been together a couple Bro, of think years, about this, though. The, 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 the uh, Philly for the play, motherfucking the Wizards, and then they play the winner between the Knicks and the Hawks. Mm-hmm. Then they in the Eastern Conference right. between Brooklyn and motherfucking Milwaukee or the Heat. Yeah. Bro, it's easy, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they got a little easy way and they'll be waiting, and I feel like they got enough this year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like as far as like the Eastern Conference setup, it's definitely, I feel like it's going to be Philly and the Nets. Yeah, I think you so too. Right? We can agree on that. Yeah. And what about the West, though? Like the West, like shit. I definitely Clippers want, and Lakers. Yeah, that's a, that's the type of matchup I want to see. Me but, too, man. Like I said, I don't know, man. Shit, I don't know. The like, Lakers got to get past um the Suns and um which they Denver or the um Portland, Denver or Portland. Yeah, because like I said, shit. Right now, it's just like yeah, like yeah. If I had to put the West set up, it's definitely be the Lakers and the Clippers because I fuck and with Clippers. Denver. But I don't think they gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, the Suns. No, like we ain't even gonna talk about them. Like, shit, motherfucker. You ain't gonna respect the Suns? Yeah, I respect them, but, like, they not gonna win no championship. They not yeah, no, they ain't gonna pass the, the Lakers, bro. Yeah, they ain't so, you got the Lakers one in six? Yeah. Six? Okay. Yeah. I got the Lakers in five. Yeah, I give them six. You know what I'm saying? Five. Like, shit, but, uh, what's I gonna say? So, yeah, Lakers and the Clippers. That's what I'm going with, Western Conference, man. But, like, shit, you I want to. the Clippers? Yeah, I want to see the Clippers go. Like, I still want to see them in the championship. You know what I'm nah, saying? They, I don't think they have my. If they if they don't get past Dallas, bro, they ass it's over with for they ass. They shouldn't. Even it ain't, it ain't Doc, bro. They gonna they gonna blame Doc this year. No, nah, they can't blame nobody. Like I said, the, the Clippers been on bullshit period. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? It, like especially when Paul George came out and talking shit P, about man. Doc. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you. Talking about he he was using him like he Ray Allen for like who wouldn't want to be Ray Allen? Shit, nigga, it's just like nigga, just go out there and play like that. Nigga wasn't shooting them shots for you. <laughs> like shit, just go out yeah. there and ooh. He say you setting you up, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, like I said, and I and I ain't even gonna lie. Like I've been talking shit about Kyrie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, KD cold, and bro. all them shit, but like shit, I fuck them niggas, man. Like, like I told my baby, man, I, I was watching Kyrie, I was like, that's the best ball handler that ever picked up the ball, bro. Yeah. He and had yeah. the best handles ever, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm going with the Nets. I definitely want to see them get a ring, the you know Nets, what I'm saying? The Nets, bro? The Nets? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing them winning. Sound like a bandwagon ass yeah. nigga, man. They ain't gonna get nah, it. you know, ain't no bandwagon nigga. At they, all. they ain't got, bro, Philly gonna beat they ass, bro. Who they gonna see, I don't wanna see Ben Simmons getting no ring, though. 
<laughs> Why you don't like Ben Simmons? No, I don't like Ben Simmons. He weak. But hold on, bro. Like, you I hope my fact, I, I, Hold I on, bro. Don't say he weak. No, no, no. No, don't go with Brooklyn now, bro, because we hit a well, segment earlier when you said Kyrie Irving was a bitch, folk. Yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, that's what I just said. Like, shit, motherfucker, now I feel a little differently. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, shit, he just be speaking on certain things. Like, I feel like the nigga a little soft. Like, his mental ain't that much. I kind of got more of a little understanding of where he be. He treat this shit like shit. a like like a hobby, nigga. Yeah, like a you know side job, nigga. Yeah, like shit. You know, I don't work for y'all. Y'all work for me. Y'all, you know, get paid over like thirty shit. million dollars, nigga. Yeah, so you know, I kind of look at him a little differently. You know what I'm saying? Now than what I did did. You know what I'm saying? That's Especially great. after he came out and you know he was talking about that Israel and Palestinian shit and yeah, just bro. like it's some things more than basketball and. Like, I don't know if it's an act, but it just seems like that's him. You know what I'm saying? You know what, bro? But you know what, though? That shit sounds genuine, man. I don't, I don't really feel like he he, he just front or that shit just an act because he follow, he put actions behind that shit. He put a lot of donations. He wants one of the most charitable, you know, NBA players in the league. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he got actions behind what he's speaking. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I said I look at this a little more differently now. You know what I'm saying? And especially like after that Kwame Brown shit, it's just like shit. Motherfucker, you already know Kwame Brown was a butt of all them NBA jokes and shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, all the other shit. But like, you know, there when you start hearing niggas talk, hearing the shit that they saying, it's like, you know what? You right, bro. Like shit. So it's just like, you know, this shit just be funny and entertaining to talk about it. But then like shit. Because like me personally, I even felt like Kwame Brown, like maybe he just... Got in his feelings a little bit, but like shit, nigga. If you been just been hearing shit year after year after year, I was year, just gonna say he just exploded, bro. I just yeah. so long just hearing shit and that shit building up, building up. You just explode on everybody, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you said something, I'm on your ass. You said something, I'm on your yeah, like, and I'm already rolling. I got already momentum. Yeah. I'm on everybody like, ass, and yeah. he trending, bro. Yeah, especially like shit. If I was just out here minding my business, you know what I'm saying? And then like I just hear a, a motherfucker Kwame Brown joke for no reason. Yeah, I ain't out here bothering nobody or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like shit. Especially like a motherfucker got kids and shit like that. Your yeah. kids gotta hear that shit. Hear that shit, and they gotta be involved. So tell me this: in a fight, who you taking, Kwame Brown or Matt Barnes? Mm, shit, I probably get to Kwame Brown. You give it to Kwame? Yeah. Cause I feel mm-hmm. like Kwame Bryant feel let no light skinned nigga beat his ass. Kwame Bryant, <laughs> shit, he's seven feet tall, bro. Uh, shit, hey, it might not mean something. Matt Barnes, like what six? What? Six, eight. Know, Matt yeah, Barnes, like six, seven, saying? six, like, eight. Shit, you know they ain't like that nigga. But I think Matt Barnes box though. Yeah, like shit. I, I got my money on on, on Matt. And I'm gonna give it to Kwame because like shit, I don't like. I just can't. I, I just That's a good refuse. fight. I got my money uh, on Matt. Like I, I just refuse that nigga let his ass get. Like you can't talk all that shit. Call that nigga Becky with the good head and all this yeah, shit. Bro. All that shit about Derek fishing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, dude, you let a light-skinned nigga beat your ass. <laughs> you gonna beat his ass like he beat Derek Fish ass, bro. He gonna be 2-0 oh in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it to the mouth. Speaking of the NBA, we ain't seen Nate Robinson since he got his ass put to sleep either. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Nate. Damn, Nate. But shit, like nigga, anything else gonna happen to that motherfucker? No, man, shit, we just gonna shit. It just started, man. So we gonna keep y'all some more updates about the playoffs, man. We gonna get a little bit oh, more. Yeah, like that sports shit. Like shit. Oh man. man, bro, that's you know what I'm saying. Like shit, I, I had seen a uh, comment or something that he had made about, you know vintage, about being vintage and shit. Yeah, I guess somebody said he was looking like his vintage self and like shit. He pretty much said like. Imagine having your dream job or working for a company for ten plus years, blood, sweat, and tears. And somebody from another company approach you and say, hey, you look like your venture selves today, laughing my ass off. You don't know them at all, and they think they know you because they watch you perform a little bit from afar. And the shit you would, uh, they watch you a little bit from afar. And the shit would throw you off, right? You had your ups and downs in the company, right? You human. But what if the numbers say you were more efficient that year? What if you were a totally different player? It's nothing vintage about my game but my floaters. I don't dunk or jump high anymore. I'm not killing you with speed, nor am I a one-man fast break anymore. I don't even shoot my reverse layups, you know what I'm saying? I'm totally a different player. You know what I'm saying? I love chess, so I will put it this way. I lost my queen early in the game, but I fought my fucking way back to get one of my pawns down the board to get her back. If you know chess, that's a very hard process to achieve. And if you really know how to play... You know, even the Masters games are won with few pieces on the board, and it's about strategy, mm-hmm. art, and skill. It's cool to say I still hoop a little bit, 
Plus, I've been fighting through shit my whole life. I'm smiling through it because I've been through the hardest shit. That was growing up piss poor in Chicago, and nobody understood my pain and dreams but me. Vintage or not, I'm extremely blessed and skilled. You know what I'm saying? And, and I nigga round of applause for that shit, nigga. Shout out motherfucking D Rose, nigga. I don't give a fuck what great jersey he got on, nigga. He always Chicago. When he get a ring, we win. Fuck you talking about forever, nigga. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And before we get to that bitch ass nigga of the week, you know shit. Got something else you wanna add in, brother? No, nah, bro, shit. Just like I said, man, just keep looking forward, man. We're gonna keep putting out a little bit more content and shit, man. About these sports and about a lot of other more shit coming soon, you feel me? So like and subscribe, keep supporting. Should you know what I'm saying? Reach out, tell us what you, what you like to hear. You feel me? Yeah. All right, let's do this bitch ass nigga. Bitch. This for that bitch ass nigga. This week, bitch ass nigga go to Bobby Paul Edwards, coming out of South Carolina. He's a restaurant owner. And uh, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for tricking John Christopher Smith into working 100 hours a week with no pay. Fucking slavery, nigga. And he will also Modern beat day. him as well. Like, shit, nigga, Modern crazy, day slavery, like, shit, G. Nigga. Like, I couldn't imagine working 100 fucking hours and not getting paid. A week, bro? Every motherfucking week. Oh, we, bro, oh, bro that's, your whole, that's every day, bro. Like, yeah. nigga, you, you ain't got shit else to do but work there. Yeah. And how much was, how much was he um, granted, bro? Like, shit, at the time of uh, his sentence, he was ordered to pay Smith $273 of unpaid wages. $273,000? Yeah, but, you know, this is a little old right here. So, shit, an appeals court ruled on April 21st that the victim is ti- entitled to twice that amount. Due to federal labor law. Mm-hmm. So, in total, he's owed $546,000. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, this nigga owed a mi- half a million dollars. Excuse mm-hmm. me, a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Half a million dollars. So, shit, nigga, but, like, that shit crazy. Finally, this ass, what, like, shit. Bro, that shit, that shit, that shit bogus as hell, bro. You don't mistreat people like that, bro. Yeah. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? He was black and he was white, so it looked like slavery. Yeah, but, you know, also, you know what I'm saying, John, South Christopher, Carolina? John Christopher Smith, you know what I'm saying, he's an intellectually disabled man. So, you know what I'm saying, just so y'all know, you know what I'm saying, that's probably how he was able to take advantage of him mm-hmm. and take of that nature. That was some bogus ass shit, man. You don't misuse people. You don't treat people wrong like that, man. Yeah. Hey, and uh, Troy, because, like, I ain't even got the young man name, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I know it's a uh, boy out in Indiana who been missing for the last week or so, you know what I'm yeah. saying? 12-year-old artistic boy. They said the- he went to, they said the last last video said he was going to the river, man. Yeah, like, yeah, they say it was some surveillance footage that had uh, showed him walking into the river or, you know, uh, whatever, a little ocean or what I mean. Not ocean, but you know what I mean. The lake, bro. Yeah, the lake about the shit. ocean. <laughs> the Indiana folk. Yeah. Oh, the Hey, man. Kyron uh, Carter. Kyron yeah, Carter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, prayers to Kyron Carter and his family. Yeah, man. Like, shit, I don't know what's going on oh, completely back with safe, that situation, man. but I noticed that I seen that being posted a few times yeah. during the week. And, uh, you know, so just prayers to his family. Hopefully, they find him. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? That one really surveillance of him walking into the lake. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they get him back at the crib. So, yeah, man. And another thing, man, before we, um, you know, wrap it up. Um, uh, somebody we want y'all to get real acquainted with, uh, Ronald Green, who was killed in 2019 by the police. You know what I'm saying? And uh, do some research on that, man. We gonna bring out some more shit next week about it. But uh, yeah, look, look for that and really get accustomed with that and get in tune with that. Yeah, like I, I said, everything uh, is nigga logic, but do your own research. Yeah, Ronald Green, I believe that shit happened at Louis. Louisiana, you know Louisiana. what I'm saying, just to give y'all a little back to it, you know what I'm saying. Go ahead, give him like, contact. He got pulled over by the police, you know what I'm saying, he ended up getting tased, and they ended up kicking him, and you know, Beating pretty much death. being the result of his death, and uh, you know, when it comes to that shit, it was also like, uh, they were saying it was originally reported that he got into a car accident, and that was the result of his death. Look, bro, there was two reports. One police officer said he died upon hitting a tree, he died immediately. The other one said he that he was handcuffed, he refused arrest, and died on the way to the to the um, to the to the jail. Oh, yeah. You know what, you know what I'm saying? So 
Man, really get in tune, man. The family suing the police for wrongful yeah. death. Then that shit two years old, too. Yes. So the video is just now coming to the news medias and shit like that. Well, it's funny how they had shit like this, man. This yeah. shit is terrible, bro. You know, Check this out, man. Ronald yeah. Green. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, shit, we wanted to look a little bit more into that since we just caught on to that. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, if I'm not mistaken, I think four of them officers that was involved with them, they all been off the job for a minute now anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they you know have. What I'm saying? And then one of them even died in a car accident, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago as well. So, you know, like I said, just check that out, get in tune or whatever the case is. And, you know, that's pretty much it for the day. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, once again, before we get out of here, we appreciate y'all. We're mm-hmm. appreciating the new followers. You know what I'm saying? New subscribers. Keep fucking with us, man. That shit. You know what I'm saying? The Opinion Hated Podcast. Follow that shit on everything. Facebook, Episode 38. Instagram. You know what I'm saying? YouTube. All that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Spotify. All the everything. Come on. Let's keep it going. You know what I'm saying? We out this bitch. Let's get it. Tell you how it. It's something special, man. That shit, my boy.